Flash Video XML Playlist. Alright, this is only a sample video provided by MasterFlash.net. Uh, it's basically going to show you bits and pieces of what you're going to learn inside of the uh, full tutorial. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drop you off about uh, 30 minutes into part one and let it roll on for a little bit. So we need to say private var uh, volume underscore transform colon sound transform semicolon okay and now we can get into our constructor our constructor um, this is another instance where we have to uh, you know create the uh, a private function to begin this as our action script file name and what we're gonna set this up to do is we're gonna set this up to actually load our XML file alright so let's say private function no not private public Sorry, public function um, play underscore list underscore controller, and this needs to be your uh, your action script file name. Okay, opening closing parentheses, opening bracket, and let's begin to load the XML. All right, so here we go. We need to set this up to uh, load. So we need to say XML underscore loader equals new URL loader. All right, opening, closing parentheses, semicolon, next line, XML underscore loader dot add event listener, opening parentheses, and we need to tell it we have to set an event listener for the load complete. Okay, so we're going to say event dot complete in all caps. And then we have to come up with a uh, function name. So we're going to say XML underscore load complete, which is what something is, or will, which is what we'll define later on in the file. All right. XML underscore loader dot load. Uh, we need to say new URL request. And what we're going to do here is we're going to reference our file path. All right. So get our underscore playlist. Closing parentheses, semicolon or closing parentheses, closing parentheses, semicolon, next line, and go ahead and put a closing bracket in there. All right, obviously we take the steps to, uh, you know, make our XML loader our loader, okay? We send out a little event listener for when the load is complete, okay? And now what we're doing is, if you notice that we called our uh, file path to, or for the string for our file path here, all right, we're saying, all right, you're going to load what? You're going to load this, which is our file path. All right. So let's go ahead and make some room. And um, let's see, uh, what can we go here? We need to tell it what to do when the uh, XML load is complete. All right. So let's say. So let's say uh, private function XML underscore load underscore complete. Opening parentheses, event, colon, event. Uh, closing parentheses, colon, void, opening bracket. And we need to say playlist equals XML opening parentheses event dot target dot data. I'll walk back through this in a second. Um, let's see, uh, semicolon, videos, underscore XML, underscore list, equals playlist, dot video, semicolon. All right, little curveball for you. The heart, underscore of, underscore our, underscore file, opening, closing parentheses, semicolon, video, underscore details, dot text, equals playlist, dot video name, video, underscore name semicolon next line closing bracket all right so what we're doing here is we're setting up the playlist and what we're going to end up doing is later on is we're actually going to define what data it's going to go get inside of our xml file okay and it'll be very clear cut when we write the uh 
the the code for this later. You'll understand why we put this in here. Um, and obviously, you know, we set the uh, XML list as our playlist, which of course is going to be the video. This is a function that we're going to define next that will basically be everything that we need to do to make our connections work as far as our, you know, metadata, our net connections, net streams, um, you know, creating the video, adding it to the stage, setting up the timer and the progress bar, volume, you know, basically the heart of what we're going to do. It's going to be the main section of our file. All right, and of course what this is right here, I'll explain this in a second. Let's go ahead and copy this, come back into our main file, all right, and let's grab one of our dynamic text boxes. I'm going to grab the bigger one of the two. Let's go ahead and give this an instance name. All right, so I'm just going to paste in here, video details. All right, and I'll come back in here and uh, just kind of explain this to you. All right, so what we're doing here, our instance name, all right, and we're saying, all right, this is a text. What's our text going to equal? Or basically, what's our text going to load up with? And we're saying, all right, you're going to go to our playlist. Where is it? Right here. You're going to go to our XML file. And this is what you're going to look for. You're going to look for video underscore name. If you remember when we set up our XML file, this is what we gave it to uh, kind of reference our text that we want dynamically loaded. All right. So that's how that's going to work. All right. That is the uh, end of the sample video for Flash Video XML playlist. To locate the source files and the rest of the tutorial, head towards masterflash.net. Hope you enjoy it.